okay when I'm doing a portrait of let's say Tinkerbell okay um, what I am doing is I'm starting with a regular flesh tone okay and I need a shadow of that flesh tone so I start with a shadow and how I add how I add a shadow is I add a little tiny bit of brown and I mix that in and that will be like Tinkerbell's shadow okay now um, then I do this is the shadow this is the flesh and then I add white and this will be the highlights so I go boom 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 those are the three colors of Tinkerbell now when I'm doing something more complicated like Shane Dawson or Petrolude or something like that I mix my background color okay and then let's say that I am working with the shadows when I say I'm working with darks okay so I start with this color and we're gonna go right here here and here okay now I'm going to add this color like black these will be my darker colors right here when I go in and I, and I use my darks and these will be just different shadow colors it's really hard when I'm not painting the, the so I can't show you but um, this would be so let's see let me just do one real quick okay here would be my background of the of the portrait okay then I say I go in with the lighter and then that would be this okay all right then I'm gonna go in with the flesh color which is this okay then um, I go in and that's all my darks that's my dark area okay then I would go in with my lights so we would take more flesh over here and add lights to it so this would be a medium light and then this would be a super light right here okay so for my light lights for my medium lights I would go in to just where I barely hit with white and then I'd go in and do all my medium lights and highlight all of the cheek area and all of the um, lip areas and stuff like that and then I'm going to go in with the lighter lights and hit this area and really touch in all my highlights and like that okay and you'll see that you'll see that there there is a basic structure of how I go in darks first lights light second and then it becomes a face then I would go in with my blacks and tie in like all of my darkest areas you know, and um, like this, and then I would go in with my whites, and then do my lightest areas, like this, okay, and um, you know, just just uh, mess with the hair. I don't know because this isn't a person. This is just my how I'm showing you, um, but but th that way, you can see how. I'm using my white last and then I touch up all of my little highlights and then um, I would go in lastly with the reds or whatever I'm doing and, and you know do the lips in and um, stuff like that and, and really get and do the details And remember, everything that you mess up with, you can always go back over. And um, and then if you feel that this right here is all too too red, then you would add green, and it makes it all more olive. See how the uh, that that hair was really red colored. You uh, add green to it to offset the the red in it, and it makes it more of an ash color. So if your skin tone is too red you would add a little bit of green to it to make it more make it more um, subtle 
not so orange. So, so that is how I would do the skin tones. Now I've had a whole bunch of people ask me because it's very, very hard to work on a portrait and, um, and teach at the same time, especially if it's a portrait of something that I need it to look like something. So this gives you a more structured uh, approach of how I go from black and use my darks, white, use my lights, and then back and forth between black and white, and then add in all of my extra colors, you know, so that um, you can really you can really see how how it's done. So so hopefully that helps you, and um, hope you learned a lot and. Um, tell me if I missed anything <laughs> because that's how I do it and um, I wanted you guys to see it. So have a wonderful day and I will be back with more.